and welcome to your Week in Review, a segment where we take a look back at the top stories from this week based on viewership and interaction. I'm Jonathan Schultz. At number five, all-star employees for UPMC Chautauqua picketed outside the hospital this past Wednesday. The chief concerns of the protest were wages and staffing. Joseph Snyder, all-star paramedic and SCIU chairman, stated during the protest that he believes UPMC is more focused on the financials rather than their staffing. The chairman said UPMC did make little change to their proposal, but that the two sides are still far apart, and that we don't think the proposal is going to fix the staffing issues in this county. At number four, a Gowanda man allegedly assaulted a 16-year-old man during a burglary Wednesday at 4 Lodi Street, according to the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office. 24-year-old Nathan Crossy is charged with second-degree burglary, third-degree assault, and endangering the welfare of a child. Deputies say that the 16-year-old male is being treated for injuries at Lakeshore Hospital and has been released since then. Crossy was taken to Chautauqua County Jail and will be arraigned using the centralized arraignment procedure. At number three, the city of Jamestown's Spectrum store will relocate starting May 16th. The store will be moving to 901 Fairmount Avenue, West Ellicott, near the current Verizon Wireless store, according to a flyer passed out by employees. A WNY News Now viewer told us that other customers who want to pay their bills in person will now have to pay via a kiosk located at the new Spectrum store. Coming in at number two, a Sherman man is charged after the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office said they discovered approximately 14 dead chickens at a Sherman residence on April 18th. 43-year-old James L. Linger is charged with failure, failure to provide sustenance to the chickens and overdriving slash torturing an animal. According to a release Wednesday, the new resident of the property reported that they discovered an unattended chicken coop after purchasing the property. The chickens were reportedly locked in cages with no way out. At number one, more than two ounces of crystal methamphetamine, a quantity of powder cocaine, an electric stun gun, a Remington 870 shotgun, and numerous drug paraphernalia were seized in a joint raid by the Jamestown Metro Drug Task Force and Southern Tier Regional Drug Task Force Saturday evening at 12 Partridge Street, according to the Jamestown Police Department. 22-year-old Jacob M. Comenda and 22-year-old Logan K. Morrison Samples are charged with second and seventh degree criminal possession of a controlled substance, fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, and criminally using drug paraphernalia. And that's it for our Week in Review. Join me next time for another look at the top trending stories of this week. And when you're on the go, stay in the know and download our mobile app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. I'm Jonathan Schultz, WNY News Now.